to welcome guys to the new episode of flutter flow in this episode we will discuss how you can add the custom audio player widget into your flutter flow app for that what we need to do is we will create a custom code in which we will add a pub dev package so let me show you how you can do that step by step so the first thing you need to do is go to the custom code here okay and here i have already added so let me delete this first I will create this player screen again. So let's delete this and start the demo from scratch. I will remove the code here as well. Okay. So uh, you need to come to custom code tab here. Click add and add widget. Okay. Name it as an audio widget. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is go to the boilerplate code here. Whatever code will appear here, copy to the editor. Okay, so in this code, let me explain. This is uh, this is returning an empty container, empty box. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is just save this widget. Okay, now search for pubdev package library. So you can search it here, pubdev. And here you can type just audio package okay now we will use this package this is a customized audio player widget so we can leverage the package functionality in our flutter flow app so i will use this dependency you can copy this dependency from here okay copy this and add the dependency here and replenish it okay okay the next thing we need to do is go to the example tab here and copy all the dependencies from here okay we need these dependencies so don't touch this automatic in flutter flow imports we will uh, that need to be used so we will add this here okay and again you can refresh this so that the dependency will connect with these uh, imports now the next thing we need to do is add one parameter name it as an audio url okay i have added this and give it type as audio path and it's nullable okay copy this audio url here and here as well give it type as string and name as audio url Now you can save this. Next thing we need to do is we need the code. So let's copy the code. From here the player instance is being created. Copy the complete code till the end. Till here. Okay. Use this into your app. Instead of returning an empty container, we will remove this from here and paste it. Okay. Now few things we need to do here is remove this part because this is not required here otherwise it will create an unnecessary error. So we will remove this here and from dispose method as well we will remove it. Save this and the next step we need to do is we need to pass the URL which we have created. So let's pass the URL and for that you can use the small w widget okay audio widget. And make sure you you remove this exception otherwise it will create an error okay and if you use the big w here uh, if you use this w widget it will show an error we need to use this small w make sure that is there okay okay now the next thing you need to do is we will go to the lib Okay. from here we need the common.dat file so we will use that code there is this common.dat file and we need this code so we will copy this you can remove the uh, import from here you can copy from class here till the end 
copy this and paste the code here okay and from this code we need some settings so we don't need this class hidden thumb component shape remove this and from wherever it is called we can use the round slider thumb shape here and enable thumb radius as zero okay save this remove the command dot dot file here because we have already added the class of this inside our code right now okay now you can save the code and compile it so from here we will compile the code and once the code is compiled here then we will use it in our main screen where we will design the complete ui for creating the audio widget okay the code is now compiled successfully now we will go to the page selector and create a new screen which we will call it as player screen okay Player screen and create the page now inside this we will add the activity here inside the widget inside the widget tree we will remove the app bar and add one custom widget so that is our audio widget okay okay from here you can assign the width and we will give it as height as 200 and for audio url you can provide any url i have already added the url into my firebase storage so i will use that url you can add all the audio urls you can add all the audio files into your firebase storage uh, let me add that url as well go to the storage and from here i will use this url okay provide the audio url and one more thing we will do is we will add the image so here i will add one image drag it to the top okay i will increase the height You can give the image here as well. We will use this image. That's it. So this is how you can add the customized audio widget into your app. So let's see what is. Okay. Now we will navigate to this page. So I have already created my first screen. So from here, when the user click on this button then the player screen will get open. so this is how you can create the entire flow of customized audio widget in this way you can add any custom widget from the pub dev package this is what this was just a basic example let me run and test whether the audio is coming or not okay now when i click here we will navigate it to this page let's play this okay this is how you can add the customized widget now you can modify the color of of these sliders as well so let me show you that how you can do that go to the custom code here and inside the audio widget you will find the slider theme class and in that you can change the color as well so here inside this you can change the colors as well based on your needs okay so i hope you got the basic understanding of how you can add the custom widget like audio widget into your flutterflow app and if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section and what topics you want to learn to comment it in the comment section as well so that's it for today's guys thank you for watching see you in the next episode